Hi, the final quarter of 2024 brought some fantastic new features to Simple Localize. We are excited to share them with you and we hope they will make managing translations easier for you and your team. Let's dive into what's new. Public suggestions. Get feedback from your community and let your users help you with the translation process. You can now enable public suggestions to get a public link which you can share and get suggestions for your translations. Here is the link and user can suggest a new translation or a correction to, to, your, to your current translation like this one. We can add a comment and post a suggestion. You can receive a notification about all new suggestions and you will see them in the translation editor. When we open the translation key, we can find it in the suggestions tab and we can apply it in a just one click. Visual Studio Code extension. We have developed an extension for Visual Studio Code to help you manage your translations directly from the code editor. To install the extension, uh, head to our documentation for the link or search for Simple Localize directly in Visual Studio Code, install the extension, and once it's there, configure the extension. Uh, first step is to generate personal token. You can just click here to get one. Let's create token for this integration. Let's copy that. Here we set personal token right now. We choose the project that should be integrated with um, with with this uh, with this project. So let's choose this one, and that's it. Now you can see all your translation keys. You can manage them and synchronize directly from your code editor with Simple Localize. Translation memory. With this new feature, you can now easily find similar translations, see the matching score, and apply them with just one click. Email notifications. Head to your profile to set up your email notifications. You can get notified about new comments, comments mentions and new public suggestions. Excel format improvements. Export and import your translations using Excel spreadsheet format and include their additional information about tags and characters limit. Team management. We have improved the team management section to make it easier for you to assign users to different projects. You can now manage access of a user, assign them to different projects and manage their permissions per project from just one place. Automations. We have added a new option to the automations feature, so now it's possible to publish translations after auto-translation job is finished. It will make it easier for you to automate the whole process from adding translations, automating them, and then publishing to the desired environment. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you like the new features. And if you have any suggestions or feedback on the new features or the existing ones, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching and Happy New Year! Bye bye!